back, guys. We're back. Yo, we're back. We're back, guys. You know what's up, guys. I do I even got to say it? Yeah, of course I do. <laughs> of course I do. Why am I asking? Of course I got to say it. Shout out to the subs. You know what's up? Shout out to all the subs, man. Um, yeah, guys. You know, so you already know, guys. We got to always do Taylor on this channel. This is how this channel started. And, uh, I mean, you guys know I'm a fucking big, I'm a big Taylor fan. So, uh, but, but here's the thing. I'm a big fan of her music, right? So, like, meaning, like, I don't, you know, because, like, I, I'm now, like, super close to, like, someone who's a super, super, super hardcore Swifty. I don't know all the dates. I don't have all the fucking things. Like, I'm not, like, super that hardcore. I just like the music. You know what I mean? My point being, um... I have not really seen very many interviews with her. Um, I've seen a couple, uh, and they were all terrible. Not because of her, <laughs> but because all the interviewers were all being all like, well, waka waka, ba 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 ba, ha 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 ha. And it's just like, what is, what is this? Like, this thing, what kind of fucking interview is this? I don't know. I don't know. It was, I seen her, uh, interview, I seen one interview with her on, on The Tonight Show, which, like, I don't know, for... For somebody who's fucking, they say they say he's like a super alcoholic, right? Like Jimmy Fallon. That's what they say, right? He's like a super hardcore fucking drunk. Like, for someone who's a hardcore drunk, I don't know. Like, I don't know. I just, <laughs> I feel like he should be more on a Dick Cavett vibe. You know what I mean? But instead, he's like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't. And then I seen an interview with her on uh, what show is it? Some British. What's that fucking? You guys know what I'm talking about? That big one. What's the big British show? You guys know what I'm talking about? And they have like multiple people on at one time. And it was her and John Cleese and I forgot who the fuck else. And it was just very like, oh, waka, waka, waka. And I was just like, oh, okay, I don't know. So my point is, I've only seen like a I might have seen maybe one or two more. Um, I think I seen one of her on a radio station. It was the same shit. The teachers were like, oh, pa, 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 pa. Like, oh, wa, pa, 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 pa. You know what I'm talking about? You guys know the type of shit I'm talking about. The type of shit that I fucking hate. The type of shit. I hate that shit. So my point is, I haven't seen a lot of her interviews, but... Um, this popped up, so this popped up on my recommended. So I'm like, fuck it, let's get into it. Let's just watch it. You know what I mean? Like, why not? So hopefully, this fool isn't as bad as every other interview I've seen. But you know, there remains to be seen. <laughs> if he stinks, I'll totally talk shit. And if he's good, well then I won't have to. I'll have to give props, right? Let's get into it, guys. Hello. Okay, it's happened. We're on both calls. <laughs> How's this? I like it, Alex. <laughs> Do you always keep instruments near your bed in case inspiration strikes? Um, well, I have a piano near me all the time. Um, and I always have a good... Yeah, the answer is yes. I've never really been able to fully I hate the way explain this is edited, by the way. other than <laughs> Just show it's the like footage. this little like glittery cloud floats in front of your face and you, you grab it at the right time and then you revert back to what you know about the structure of a song in order to fill in the, the gaps. Where were you the moment inspiration struck? It was I was in bed. I was in Nashville. I got out of bed, I think it was really late at night, and like stumbled over to the piano. Okay, so I have this idea that's like, obviously I don't know the verse, whatever yet, but I have a pretty cool, really simple, beautiful chorus idea called Lover. It's... Hold up, hold up, hold up. I've been thinking for years, God, it would just be so great to have like a song that, that people who are in love would want to dance to, like slow dance to. In my head, I had like just the, these, the last two people on a dance floor at 3 a.m. swaying. What did you have in your mind? Was it the title? Was it a lyric? Was it a melody? It was not. Um, it was. It was. Can I go where you go? Can we always be this close? Can I go where you go? Can we always be this close forever and ever? I wanted the chorus to be these like really simple existential questions that we ask ourselves when we're in love can i go where you go is such a heavy thing I to hate ask the way somebody. this is edited <laughs> um can can we always be this close has so much fear in it um but so does love 
When did you hit upon the word love? Well, I, mean, I, I, hate to keep, I hate to pause, but God, why wouldn't you just play or like have her talking and then just play the whole thing? Why would you like cut back? What is this editing? Also, again, just to like, she's doing her interview in vertical and so is he. So why wouldn't you just have the video be in vertical? Why wouldn't you just move him from there over her? Like when you're fucking actually on fucking... You know what I'm saying? And that way, when you fucking watch it on your phone, I know I'm not on a phone, but I'm saying they're in vertical, so that, like, who the fuck is editing this shit? That, I'm not even a video editor, guys, and this is, I'm already, right? Am I, <laughs> shout out Taylor, though. See, guys, this is what I'm talking, this is what I'm talking about. All this, like, what, what, is, what is the fucking, this is, like, disrespecting Taylor. I'm not even gonna front. Like, this is crazy to do that. Like, this is fucking crazy. Like, for it to be visually like this, and for them to not, just play the whole fucking thing. Just let us hear the whole fucking thing. Like, we don't need this wacky fucking entity bullshit. <sighs> um, but so does love. When did you hit upon the word lover? Oh, um, I've always liked that word, but I've never used it in like... My bad, guys, but like even this, guys, I don't, again, uh, my bad, I'm gonna stop pausing after this, I promise, but like, do you notice the jump cuts? You notice how they're cutting even the little, like, just let it rock, like, just let it play, just let it be real, like, what is this fu <sighs> oh, I hate whoever edited this. <laughs> <laughs> not even joking i fucking hate this this is terrible why would you do this you have this super fire footage of fucking just the interview with taylor like why don't you just let it rock like why do you have to do any of this bullshit Ugh. but so does love when did you hit upon the word lover oh um i've always liked that word but i've never used it in like in everyday life you know when people are like that's my lover over there or calling each other a lover. Like I've never done that, but I've always loved it in the context of poetry or songs. It's a polarizing word. What like some that? people are like, Ugh, that word like gives me the creeps. <laughs> um, well, anything I do is polarizing. So, you know, <laughs> I'm used to that. so how much of the song did you get done that night at the piano in Nashville? The whole thing. She sent me that voice note, whether it's a whole song or just a little thing from her, I'm always, I sort of get this big jolt and I listen and I block out the whole world for a minute. Every lyric and melody was right there and I was like, get on a plane. She came in the next day, she sat right there, she played it. It's basically, not, I don't see it as piano. I think it's that like kind of guitar dreamy, guitar -y throwback, but not like camp throwback. I so. I thought it was uh, the perfect song. Which is, which is really um, interesting because it's almost like uh, even more of a, more of a duty to, to do it right. I love the walk down. I was trying to figure out like what the hell is gonna happen there. That's so the so. When I'm working with Jack and Taylor, I'm working with two extremely creative people who are bouncing ideas back and forth so fast. So my job is to basically not slow them down in any way. Laura's been by my side for every record I've made uh, pretty much since people started listening to any of my records. We're all three of us are just in that process together. We're just like, oh, like it's just fun. We're fully, fully acting on impulse and we're acting on like intuition and we're acting on like excitement and like oat milk lattes. I remember the first thing I did was I went into the live room, which is right there. And at that time, I had listened to a lot of like violent femmes recently. And I was excited about how much feeling you could get out of a snare drum if it was a brush. And I just remember going in and just going, <laughs> one brush. I wasn't even really playing drums. I just kind of had one brush. It was just. We were using like real reverbs and, and real tape echoes. It gives like a really special character to it where it does feel nostalgic. The bass, which is a very, very, very special bass, it belongs to the studio. He was calling that the Paul bass. Is that Paul McCartney? Yeah. My old Hoffner bass, my little baby. Come on, baby. We were just referencing, like, what would Paul do? WWP. Right. The bass line is actually the hook. It's not a true Paul bass, though. It's not a true Paul bass at all, but I, it's better at that Paul thump than... I've ever gotten out of the violin bass. 
Bam, 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 bam. The bass and the drum is sort of like, if you just hear those two tracks, like the entire space is so, I think, beautifully filled. In the studio, I'm like obsessively going over, over every lyric and making sure that's what I want the final lyric to be. So I'll be over like, just do it like in my notes, just like sharpen that, hone in on that, you know? Were there lines that changed in that process? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I had toyed with the idea of being like, we could leave the Christmas lights up till April. We could leave the Christmas lights up till January. Oh my guys, April is Doesn't the best month. Leave the Christmas lights up till January. But like, it's not about like that being a crazy thing. It's sure. about how mundane it is. It's about like, we could put a rug over there. We could do wallpaper or we could do paint. This is our place. We make the rules. When young adults go from living in their family to then combining their life with someone else. That's actually like the most profound thing. She was just like telling this story. I don't know, it almost feels like an old story I've heard many times. I mean, I guess it is, like people falling in love. Tell me about the importance of the bridge to you. I feel like you you love a bridge. This is a special bridge. Talk I to me about it. I love a bridge. It. I love a bridge so much. I love like trying to take the song to a, a higher level with the bridge. There's these sort of pan plucking strings and these kind of flutes that are popping out. Guys, I, I know I'm not talking be, at all, but I mean... <laughs> you know, the first time we <laughs> introduced the idea of, like, vows. <laughs> Make it feel like a little wedding. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please stand? I love to take a common phrase and twist it. So the bridge, I took all these um, common phrases. I mean, are all the producers out there thinking weddings. what I'm thinking? Everybody else... <laughs> Everybody think about fucking like, sampling that? that? <laughs> I mean, it was, it was clear. <laughs> it was clean as fuck. Just straight vocals. Without a bridge, the song can sort of feel like, almost like a jingle. You know when you're like driving through beautiful scenery? You're like, mountains, trees, oh my god, right? And then all of a sudden you go through a tunnel and you're like, what the f And then it's back, mountains and trees, so beautiful. I hate the it's way like this is edited. Have I mentioned that enough times, guys? Third element to take you away from where you've been so you're so excited to get it back specifically in lover when you come out of the bridge and you go back into the chorus it just and it was all done in that one day oh yeah i mean i think we are, we're all really excited when we left the studio that day even if anybody had been like, I don't think this one's great, I would have been like, well, I reject your feedback because I love this one. <laughs> it's it's just a, it's a perfect song. with And it tells that story perfectly and pulls me right into where she wants me as a listener to be. You're my, you're my, you're my, you're my, you're my what? And then... Lover. Do you have guitar string scars on your hands? Well, I mean, I have like extreme calluses. You can't see them probably, but they're all, <laughs> and That's you know, hilarious. I have some from like just changing strings and not being very good at it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like somewhere like, you know, you don't, you're like tuning, 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 pop, ow. I got the horses in the bag. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, <laughs> it, was, it was cool. You know what I mean? No, no way. No way to Taylor. It was just, I did not like the editing on that. I did not. And maybe it wasn't even the decision of the editor, too. You know what I mean? He might just be doing what he's, what he's told to do, so. But whoever's decision it was to do it like that, I did not like that. <laughs> not one bit, but shout out to Taylor. The rest of it was really great, though. It was cool just hearing the story. Do you guys feel me, though? Like, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe that's because that's the way I am. You guys see this channel. Do you guys see me do any video editing? Do you guys see me do any bullshit? No. Like, just keep it real. You know what I'm saying? Like, we don't need all that bullshit. Like, especially something like that. Like, you got fucking real dope footage of fucking Taylor in a fucking cool interview. And fucking talking about this. Stuff. And they even gave you guys access to, like, hear all this shit. Like, just play it. Just let it rock. Like... You know what I'm saying? Like, the fans would way rather hear that than fucking this this dumb edit. Whatever, guys. <laughs> Shout out to the subs. <laughs> Shout out to the subs. Shout out to all Swifties up there, guys. And, uh, yeah, obviously, shout out Taylor. And, uh, yeah, guys. We'll guys, we'll be back.
I keep dropping this fucking phone. This fucking phone. This fucking piece of shit fucking... Ugh. See, this, see, this tripod's broken, see? I gotta get a new one, guys. I already cracked my screen the other day because I keep dropping my phone. I fucking hate this. All right, guys, we'll be back. <laughs> this is how I'm fucking shooting, guys. See, this shit is broken. And look, hold up, hold up. Oh, I'll just show you guys, see? And then I got this thing, and it's like... Wait. And I gotta kind of like... Somehow kind of... But see, it's broken, so like I gotta just kind of like snap it in. But then, like, it's not really in, and then there's supposed to be a thing that goes on top to hold this, to hold the phone in completely like this, but that thing is broken too, so, like, yeah, I really gotta, um... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys, we'll be back.